So I started coding back in 2016 because I wanted to build a website. I wanted to host a simple message just so my friends could see. Little did I know that would start a chain reaction which would uh, eventually lead me to my current position. Now I code almost every single day and I love doing it. To those of you who are still on the fence about getting into programming, here's a couple reasons on why you should learn how to code. For starters, learning to code can be the gateway to landing a high paying job. A lot of software engineers, data scientists, machine learning engineers earn hundreds and thousands of dollars every single year. Even if you're currently working and don't hold a technical position, learning how to code can potentially increase your pay dramatically and also make your job a lot easier through automation. With the way the world is going right now with stuff like Web 3.0, blockchain, and also AI, you really don't want to miss on a skill like coding. Learning how to code is essentially just like learning a new language, but this language allows you to communicate with computers. Once you're sold on learning how to code, you first need to figure out what language you're going to start with. It's a lot easier to pick your first language if you already have an idea of what you want to do. For example, if you want to become a data scientist or machine learning engineer, then your choices are cut out for you. You should probably start with a language like Python or R. If you want to get into front-end development or web development, then you probably want to learn stuff like JavaScript or React. Or maybe you want to become an app developer, then you should probably pick up languages like Java, C++, or Swift if you want to become an Apple developer. If you're unsure of what you want to do in the future, don't worry, I recommend you pick a language that's diverse such as Python. It's commonly used in a lot of different positions, so you don't have to worry about making a switch. And even if you do, most of your knowledge will be transferable anyway. Remember, don't spend too much time trying to figure out which language to learn first. Just make sure the language you pick uh, is easy to learn, has a lot of supporting documentation, and is commonly used in the industry. Once you've answered those three questions, you are ready to get started. The next step to take after picking your first language is to learn the basics. By this, I mean learning how to print some basic information, understanding logic operations, when to use if else statements, and how to iterate through different data structures. I think the best way to learn is by practicing on this side, so I highly recommend you watch some guided tutorials when you're first getting started. This will allow you to learn how to download an IDE, how to set up your environment, and how to get started. There are so many different free resources on YouTube that you can use uh, when you're first getting started to understand how to download uh, your first programming language and write your first line of code. I will leave a couple links down below for you guys to check them out. Once you've got the hang of the basics, maybe you've run a couple of scripts, uh, it's finally time for you to build your own project. Learning through projects is super underrated and is incredibly helpful, especially if you want to land a job someday. Coding isn't like biology in the sense that you have to get through a ton of layers before you can even apply the knowledge you just learned. With coding, you can very easily apply the knowledge and theory you just learned with very little friction. A good starting project I recommend to those of you who are looking to solidify your understanding of the basic concepts is building a tic-tac-toe app. Uh, this works well for languages like Java or Python. This doesn't have to be super complicated or perfect. You can do this with a couple dozen lines of code and you don't have to include any libraries or functions if you don't want to. The goal here is to get the foundations down and make sure the logic of the app you're trying to build is met. For example, maybe you're trying to build the tic-tac-toe app and there's a couple requirements you know you have to get done for your app to be successful. This is where the real struggle of programming comes along. You need to think ahead and plan out all the requirements that you need to complete the app. For example, one of the requirements for the tic-tac-toe app is switching between players. Uh, the additional step here is identifying between each player with the X or O character. During this stage, I recommend getting a sheet of paper out and writing down all the criteria you can think of beforehand and simultaneously plan out how you intend to code that feature. Maybe you intend on using a for loop or a nested if statement or maybe even a boolean variable. Whatever it is, just make sure to write down your initial ideas just so you have a sense of direction later on when you're trying to implement those features. Once you're confident and have a solid plan, then you can go ahead and open up your IDE of choice and start building out that code. Again, it doesn't need to be a super complicated solution that is extremely efficient, it just needs to be good enough to work. This is where you might run into some errors or bugs in your code, which is completely fine and expected. Some of the errors you find might just be a super easy fix where you just missed an indentation or you made a typo or a misspelling here. You'll also probably notice a couple bugs that aren't as easy to fix, uh, probably because they aren't as obvious. Whatever it is, just make sure you're taking your time and you're troubleshooting the problem and eventually a successful solution will come. Generally though, the clearer the outline or design of the project is early on, the better your implementation is gonna be at the end. Next, you can scale up your understanding of programming and learn more structured ways to code, uh, such as object-oriented programming, classes, inheritance, uh, data structures, algorithms, and stuff like that. This will definitely help you out in the future, especially if you're trying to solve more complicated problems or build bigger apps, so don't be afraid to take your time at this stage. Once you're comfortable with these components and practices, uh, maybe you've built a couple of apps or done a couple of projects, uh, you've basically got the hang of coding. Everything else is essentially built upon this foundation of code coding. Uh, it also depends on what problem you're trying to solve or what use case you're trying to implement. Again, you can obviously rely on things like uh, libraries, frameworks, open source projects, uh, and other things to make your workflow more efficient. 
Once you reach the stage and you decide you want to niche down into a specific career path, I highly recommend you follow a roadmap. For example, maybe you decided you want to become a software engineer, then you should probably learn some front end or back end development. Maybe you want to become a data scientist, then you should probably learn some machine learning algorithms and also understand the data science lifecycle. I personally used roadmap.sh when I first got started. Uh, it was a very specific strategy on what to take on uh, when trying to enter the field of data. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll leave a couple links down below. Again, the best way to learn, in my opinion, is through application. So feel free to use some guided tutorials or projects uh, when you're first getting started. I hope by the end of this, you were able to gain some clarity on how to learn to code in a reasonable time frame. This is what worked best for me, so feel free to try it out for yourself, tweak it here and there, just to figure out what works best for you. Hopefully by the end of this, your initial fear that was preventing you to learn how to code is now overcome. Coding is often misunderstood as this alien language that is super difficult to understand, when in reality, modern coding languages are basically just a modified version of English. The difficult part is really piecing together ideas and plans to implement your code to solve the problem you're currently facing. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing for more content like this. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.